okay, let's, uh, I haven't watched this video yet. Here, let me get my headphones on so I can hear proper. Hey guys, I wanted to talk to you all about what my reason was for getting suspended on Twitch and also what my plans are going forward. And I think this has been something that's a long time coming. And I actually think that this is something that not only I deserved, but it's also something that I needed. And I want to talk about what the reason for that is. So a couple of days ago, I made some comments about Palestine and also about Hamas and, you know, some just general, uh, you know, basically opinions that were trivializing the genocide that's happening there. And I, I don't really want to like mince words or like try to like, oh, I wasn't justifying or, you know, promoting it. Uh, I, I said something. Yeah, I don't know why the audio is so bad. How do you record this? <laughs> I said that I didn't care about innocent people getting killed by another force, by anything. And I think that that's a horrible, disgusting, mean-spirited thing to say. And I, I don't necessarily think that it was really racist, really. But when I'm using language like Palestinians or like the people there, rather than what my real language was, uh, I've always been very outspoken and very against religious extremism. And I think that my problem and my fault here was that I was making a criticism of religious extremism, and I, I feel like almost I've rewatched the clip, right, or a number of the clips, and it's like I've almost made an effort not to draw a distinction between the two things. I think that a lot of us here can easily say that we're against religious extremism, and I am, but whenever I categorize everybody in the area as this, like, group, uh, then I'm the and I was the I had a lot of you guys tell me that. He just like looked like tilted. Like uh, Asma just like was like like something like had been bothering him. Something set him off, right? And it was just like because Asma does this thing, dude. And I, like I've I've been friends with Asma for almost eight years. He gets like bonus mad where he just like he's like he just goes too far. It's like bro, what? <laughs> like chill, you know? And it it like felt like one of those moments having having known him <laughs> so, so long. And and I was like, the what? What? It was really dumb, right? Like it, it like it, it almost. It, I don't even think it needs to be said, right? I think it's it's pretty. Yeah, I think it was really like. I mean, I think it's. I think it's just one of those things that's like, what? Like, what is going on, dude? I think this has been going on now for like two years. I think that I've oh, been so slowly this, okay. devolving into the most mean spirited, uh, okay. just uh, m like. Like I don't really even know what the word is for it. I mean, I've noticed it too, right? Like, like Asmund is Asmund is one of my closest friends. There's a reason why we started OTK together. I feel like Asmund's con content became more and more negative. No, it did. I mean, I've said I I I agree. I mean, I think everybody's seen it. He's 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 literally saying it himself, right? Like he's admitting he's admitting he's like, yeah, I I don't know what's going on. Just like the most mean spirited rude, like nasty, uh, like just callous, uh, psychopathic version of myself. I, I think that I've been devolving into this. And a lot of my friends- I'm actually kind of surprised he, he just like straight, dad, straight up admits it at the beginning of the video. You've got to chill out. You've got to calm down. I've been like, oh, he, he's, that old man doesn't know what he's talking about. And I've finally had some level of accountability for that. And thank God. If Asmund's dad's saying it, then it's like, okay, shit, dude, you never leave. <laughs> Spit everywhere. If Asmund's dad's saying it, yeah, you need to pump the brakes. <laughs> but like, dude, a like Asmund needed this. I feel like I feel like sometimes like people people hit a point. Sometimes you need a reality check, right? It's like, hey, like, bro, snap out of it, right? And and I mean that's. I feel like that's what he's, I mean, he's, he's talking I, about it himself. I feel, I, I feel so stupid. I, I, it's crazy. So I, I'm getting all these people making negative comments for me. Anything wrong. He, I mean, he did though, right? And that's, I mean, that's, that's, that's coming from me who I'm very like, I don't care about anything, right? Like I'm very like, whatever, right? You know, but like even himself, like he's saying, you know, he's like, he's like, yeah, that was, that was stupid. I was just like, I was like, he was just snowballing out of control. I mean, like, oh, go kill yourself. I hate you. Everything like this. Do you know who reached out to me? And uh, they uh, wanted to talk and have a conversation and see if I was okay. It's people that were Islamic and people that were had fucking family in Palestine. And I've, 
How humiliating Dude, is that? Classic. How absolutely humiliating is that? And these were the people I was trying to say were, were classic. Men. And but but there's a difference between like being like yeah that guy's that guy's being stupid or that guy's wrong. There's a difference between like feeling that way and and like attacking them, right? Or or like or like permanently condemning them and saying like oh like this irredeemable yada yada yada. I I just I, I feel like such a fucking stupid asshole. I'll tell you I had a I I don't want to go into the details of of like things I talk about, you know, privately, right? Because it's just between friends. But I'll tell you this much. I got to have part of a conversation with Asman. Uh, not even the whole thing. We didn't get, we didn't get to finish. But I, I had part of a conversation with Asman that I've been trying to have with him for like, and I'm not exaggerating this, four or five years before OTK started. Like not only was he not super receptive to it, but, but beyond that, uh, there wasn't really the right opportunity for it. And even from my own front, I kind of had just given up. I was like, all right, whatever. You know, and I think that it's extremely unfair to categorize everybody in part of that group as religious extremists. I think it is, and I'm I'm really sorry for that. Uh, I've just been a fucking dick. It, it's weird because I yesterday I woke up and I didn't know if I was going to get suspended or not, and I had planned on streaming and everything. And uh, I actually got a text message from one of my mods. They said, "Oh, I heard about the suspension. I'm sorry." And I was like. I remember I was like driving, and like you know, you'd think that like your heart rate would go up. But if anything, I felt more relaxed. I felt like finally I have a moment to just take a step back and breathe and think for myself and just stop, just like get out, get out of my own head. And I spent a yeah. lot of time like just writing basically a list of all of these things that like I, I think that I should be doing with my life. He's, t he's the one taking the step back. In fact, I'll take, I'll take it a step further. In some ways, I'm jealous, shit. <laughs> like, 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 you know, in some ways. No, like, cause, cause you, it's like, dude, there's just too much happening, right? There's too much. There's too, it's just too much work. It's too much shit. Like, go, go get your head right. Get fixed. Comments that I made yeah, get fixed. Uh, were get, yeah, get neutered. Religious extremism. I think it's bad. Uh, but I've categorized a lot of people in that way that was unfair. It's wrong for me to have done that. Uh, I said something that was bad. I should not have said that. I should have chosen my words more carefully. I didn't do that. I doubled down on it. I shouldn't have. I'm sorry. That's pretty much. I was a fucking asshole. I'm a piece of shit. I'm sorry. For the past, like, I would say, like, 10 years or so, uh, if you look at my life like this, I would have said 10 years ago or maybe 8 years ago, streaming was like this, right? YouTube was like this. And now I would say that my life and streaming are basically the exact same size. And what I mean by that is that streaming is my entire life. Doing this is my entire existence. And I think that the process of that has been extremely unhealthy for me. And I think that what it's done is that it's allowed me to become such a one-dimensional person that yeah, it's not I'm good. not even a person anymore. It's not it's like, good. Dude, oh my, okay. So things were very different, right, six, seven years ago. But now there's just so much that, that goes on all the time that everybody is just super, super busy and just, just spread super thin. I've literally finished one game all year. All year, like I didn't even know until today that I only finished one game so far this year, which was Elden Ring, and I didn't even do the DLC yet. That's how much stuff has been going on. I made a list of all of the things that I'm not doing in my life that I should be doing, and I was writing it down, and I'm like, you know, fucking, like, I'm just going and going going. Okay. Like, oh, my God, I think it'd be shorter if I transcribed the Bible. Like, this is insane. So, Okay. This is this is kind of what I okay. So you know, I said I want to have a conversation with Asm for for like four or five years. This is this is like a, this was a big part of that conversation. Part of that conversation was Asman, I know this because I'm on the other side of it. I got the same list too. I got the same shit too. And and you you need to find ways to what we need to do. Both of us, we need to find ways to take those things that 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 are are problems, right? Like it's like little stuff right? and. Not only fixing them, but putting ourselves in an environment that is conducive to fixing those things, right? And giving ourselves the opportunity to fix those things. So it's funny because I, I actually had this conversation with Asman. Uh, and he was like, because I, I, was, I was talking about the things and he's like, dude, you have no idea. I, I literally, like, I literally have been working on a list of this stuff. It started like, you know, a few days, a few days ago. I'll tell you straight up. I told Asman this. I, I wish Asman would come move in with me. But as a friend... I would like to see Asman in a situation where he has other people around him instead of just 
being home alone all day. I think that I'm going to cut down a little bit on streaming quite as much. And I think I'm also going to cut down... This is going to sound like... I, I, I hope I can say this in the right way. I feel like the main times that I laugh on my stream nowadays are when I'm laughing at other people. And I look back on videos that I did from 2020, 2016, and 17, and yeah, I've always been an asshole, but <laughs> holy shit, I've been way more of an asshole. Dude, I literally made this joke like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> It's, it's insane. That's and so it's a funny. Night and, day difference. and I've had, again, everybody in the world telling me this, including my own dad. And I've just. Including us. Them. And finally, it's like, you know what? Maybe I'm an asshole. Maybe, maybe this is too far. Maybe I need a, a, a course correction. Which is why I, I think that, like, getting suspended on this. Uh, I hope that it's one of the best things that's ever happened to me. I think that ever since I started like OTK and I got involved with that and then we had like other Starforge and like yeah. Mad Mushroom and, and Mythic yeah. and everything like I honestly it's been too much for me to handle. Yeah, and It's been, been completely too much for me to handle and it, I, I've, I've been losing my mind dealing with it and I try to hide it the best I can because you know I, I try to do the best right I try to do my best I, I you know it doesn't matter yeah. how hard it gets you just keep going you just keep going it doesn't matter this is a problem both me and Asmund have by the way uh and and Asmund and I have talked about this Asmund actually brought it up and I'm like yeah no you're right like we're we're both like this where we'll, we'll sometimes we'll just beat our head against the wall over and over again it's like we, we sometimes you got to be stop beating your head against the wall if you're trying to break it down you know there's Find the crack, find the weak spot, you know, and d attack that for massive damage, you know? And as when I both do this shit, and it's, it's really not good, it's really inefficient. When you own four companies, by the way, people say run. People say the word run a lot, and it's like, look, you, people say what they say, right? But just to, just to be clear, right, it's a whole operation, and it's like a lot of times everybody has their own role, right? Like Nick Dankner is the CEO of Starforge, right? It's like, the, the, it's like people, people are doing different things, right? So it's not like, and no one person is running the whole shebang, you know? It's uh, just, people just got their own roles, right? I think that I haven't really been able to fulfill my responsibilities as uh, a leader in a lot of cases to them. And I think that I've let a lot of people down. Uh, and there have been things that I've done that are positive as well. But I think that one thing this thing has taught me, this whole situation has taught me, it's made me realize, as Tom has made me realize, is that um, I need to get myself in check. I need to get my mind under control. I need to, like, just get my life to, I need to fix my fucking life. Like, yeah. I, it's, it's insane. Like, I, I think about it and it's just, it's in shambles. And I'm gonna take a step back from all of that. I'm gonna step away from my leadership position and OTK and Starforge and everything. I, I wanna, and, and they're fine with that. But it's about a focus and it's about a, um, it's about a tone. I listen to my tone in the clip. Yes! And I just sound like such a piece of shit. Yeah! <laughs> At the end of the day, I sound like a piece of shit. I sound like I'm a terrible person. Yeah. And it's just. It's like, the hell is wrong with you, bro? Relax. And, and callous and just mean. And I don't want to be that person anymore. And uh, I've. It's been, like, you're, it's, it's, you're not being asthma. You're being freaking weird. Like, I've what the hell? A long time. Growing up, uh, the time I did, I was an r slash atheism enjoyer. I have a very uh, negative opinion of a lot of religions, and I've always read a lot of very bad things about Islam, uh, and I've made... What did I say earlier? Like, sometimes, like, it's, 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 it almost feel, like, oppressive, where it's like the parents are like, oh, you gotta go to church here, you gotta go to this, you gotta go to that, and then it's like, you, they get to the point where they reject it altogether. That's, like, what it was for him. I actually think that at, after all this, I think towards the end of next year, I think I'd like to visit the Middle East and see it for myself. Uh, Hold on, really? <laughs> hey, salam alaikum, <laughs> dude, dude. S fan and Asman, Iran IRL streams. Look, we're going to Iran. We're gonna go hang out with my uncle. Okay, my uncle Muhammad. It's gonna be great. Okay, my Amu, my Amu Ali, my Amu Muhammad. It's gonna look. It's gonna be good. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm going to try to like. I don't know, like clean up part of my house. I'm going to try to 
do this and, and I'm not going to hire a cleaner. As I said, I was raised Roman Catholic. I view this okay. as a penance. I dude, okay, so okay. He he told me this the first time I talked to Asman, I think, afterwards. I was like, you know, he, he we were talking about cleaning his house, and I'm like, dude, you know, get get cleaners, get get junk removal people, just have them come just have them come by and you could just start tossing shit out, right? And he's like, no, I need to do it. Under- I said, I will, I said, I will literally, I told him, so you want to, if you want to clean your house tomorrow, I will literally come over tomorrow and I will help you clean your house. I promise. Like I will literally be there ASAP. And he's like, no, I need to do it on my own. I said, get cleaners, get something. I was like, he's like, no, I, I want to do it on my own. Cause it's like, uh, he, he used the word penance, right? He's like, he, he, it's like, it's like a penance, right? Cause it's like, it's just, this is his punishment. He's like. He's repenting by, by look, I've let this shit in my life build up all this way, and I've got to fight through it. Now, from my point of view, my, my natural feeling for this is cool, good on you. <clears throat> my concern with this is you're not supposed to do everything in life on your own. Life isn't meant to be, life's not a single player game, okay? Sometimes life is PvE, sometimes life is PvP but it's never a solo game. And sometimes you gotta group up with somebody to finish the quest. And so that's what my plan is. I'm going, I'm going to try to like rethink my life. I have had a lot of people reach out to me, people I would have never expected to reach out to me in ways that I never expected. And I understand that, you know, like I, I, I'm, I'm still very critical about, you know, religious fundamentalism, right? But when you paint with such a broad brush that you just include an entire group of people, yeah, it's, it's not, stupid. Just being a it's dumb as shit. You're, you're being a moron. Piece of shit. Yeah. It's like people said it was racist. I didn't mean it as racist, but if you listen to what I said, it's easy that you could assume that. It's so easy. And so I'm I'm just a fucking idiot. I'm a yeah. fucking moron. Yes. I've been an <laughs> yes. asshole. I think that I've done yes. for the last two yes. years. Yes. I think that negatively <laughs> yes. affected other people too in ways that I I, I, I hate I, I, I don't even hate to say this. Like I, I think I need to say this. I need to say it more. I, I've, I've negatively affected people in ways that I regret. That's what my plan is. Uh, that's about it. Uh, I want to say that I, I hope that now, after you've heard what I have to say, that a lot of you all can see kind of why I'm saying no, phase was esports. that I appreciate this. Were they? I'm, Am I wrong? I really think that this is something I needed. And I hope that this is the next part of the rest of my life. And I want you guys to hold me accountable to that. Yeah, phase is so like if 2010. I'm being a fucking like asshole duty. again. If I'm being mean, if I'm just being callous, acting like a psychopath, just treating people awfully, outside of a wow raid when they get killed the by the trick fire. shots. Yeah, but really. 360 no scope. Um, laughing at people's misfortune. Try to say, man, just chill the fuck out. Stop it. What's just stop? And I'm gonna do my best to listen. I spent two years ignoring it, and look where it got me. This is not even the tip of the iceberg of the problem. I mean, for me, for my for my perspective, just just being candid, I mean, it's even longer than that, right? But yeah, I would say especially. I mean, I was gonna say especially in the last year. He's saying two years. I would say in the last year, it's probably gotten worse. But like, I think I don't want to talk to this guy for like four years. Like, dude, I, like I love Asmin. Asmin is he is he is like family to me. It's like when somebody is 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 getting to the point of where they're just like losing their mind, and it's like, bro. Stop. You want to help them, but they like you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink, right? I, I want to thank everybody for making me aware that that's the case, and hopefully I can avoid the iceberg, right? And so I want to don't say, pee in the uh, pond, that's please. Much about all I've got. Uh, I sorry for a lot of people I let down, uh, not just with comments like this, but also just with the way I've been doing things in general. I think that you guys deserve a much better version of me than what you've been getting, and I hope that I can live up to that in the future. And, What's up, uh, Nick? How are you doing? I, I don't. I don't even want to think about it in the future, right? That's been, as soon as I get unbanned, we're gonna. I'm the best apology is better content, change behavior, and that's what I hope to do. So yeah, anyway, yeah, guys, speak louder than um, words. I'm just gonna focus on myself for a while, try to improve my own life, and uh, there's a lot of things I, I think. Again, I'll probably talk about more whenever I go live again that are like more kind of, uh, you know, just like kind of in the weeds, like personal stuff, but. Um, Overall, that's the big picture. That's where I'm at. And so, uh, anyway, exactly. uh, that's about all I've got. And uh, I'll see you guys soon. I'm going to try to just take this time off to, uh, you know, really kind of fix my shit. So, yeah, anyway, guys, that's about it. I'll see you later. Bye. 
Maybe this video hits a little yeah, bit different no. for me. Maybe it hits a little bit different for me because because I I, I know because because I know Asma so well and I've known him for so long. So maybe, maybe it does hit a little bit different for me. But I mean, I, I thought he hit on a lot of really good points. Uh, a number of things I actually didn't know if he was going to talk about or not, right? Because I I thought I was just kind of going to watch this and I wasn't even going to have much to say. I don't know how long we've been watching this at this point. But um, yeah, because I, I, mean, I thought I was just gonna be like, okay, just kind of, because I, I hadn't gotten a chance to watch it. I've been so freaking busy, right? Like I've been traveling, I've been this and that, doing all kinds of stuff, working. I thought it, I thought it was really good. I, I think it hit on a lot of stuff that like, I mean, even even being like a, a close personal friend of Asmund's, like like he hit on a lot of stuff that was relevant to me, because I'm like, oh, okay, he actually said that. Oh, okay, he actually did admit that. Okay, you know things that that like ways that I felt about about you know, where he's at, for example, you know, did he clean his house yet? Uh, he sent me some pictures. I'll show you the, the one he posted. I'm surprised that Asmund didn't triple down. <laughs> dude, dude, you're a preaching the choir here, dude. Like, you're a preaching the choir. As far as, as far as the guy being stubborn, dude, I'm like, holy cow. I don't think you got, uh, I can't even look at it, dude. Yeah, I don't think people realize how gross Hasman's house is. And he knows it's gross. And everybody else, like, that's the thing. It's not even like he's trying to hide it and he's like, it's just like kind of like whatever. That's the problem. Like, it's like there's no, there, there, at least I, I think, I think like, I literally think this guy just. <laughs> but it was almost like, I mean, the guy just, it was like no shame. <laughs> like, it's like, like, yeah, just how it is, you know. How many times have you heard Asman say like, Oh, if something's a problem, I just ignore it until it makes itself better. Now, he did not tell me that he was thinking about going to... <laughs> that he was thinking about going to the Middle East. <laughs> that he did not tell me. <laughs> I 